Time to go boat racing, Jeff Ayler. We're inside the five minute period for Heat 1A of the 2007, the 29th Thunder on the Ohio, presented by AT&T Yellow Pages and yellowpages.com. With a minute and seven seconds left to go before the start of Heat 1A. There's your one minute mark, the one minute gun, and everybody is on the back stretch. Formed up inside lane is John Theoret in the Beacon Plumbing. It looks like next to him is Greg Hopp in the Mirage Boats. Dr. Ken Muscatel ought to have everybody. He's plowing a lot of water. We're about 43 seconds away, and for the play-by-play -play of Heat 1A, let's throw it to Jeff Ayler. Thank you, Mark Allen. 35 seconds until the start. Everybody just a touch early as they approach turn number two. These are three lap heats, two-mile course here in Evansville, Indiana. 25 seconds until the start. Jean Theoret, lane one, Beacon Plumbing. Greg Hopp, lane two, MirageBoats.com. Kim Muscatel, lane three, Superior Racing. Jeff Bernardo, go to lane four and U5, FarmTheBoats.com. David Bryant to the outside and Ahern Reynolds. 10 seconds until the start. Looks like Theoret will lace one on the inside. We're five, four, three, two, one. Mark, and we're gonna call it physically. Theoret was close and they're saying it's a good start. As the tradition continues on the Ohio River, John Theoret nailed one in lane one as he leads the field in turn number one, and the Canadian leads it on the boy row. John Theoret, your leader in the Beacon Plumbing, hangs it on the hook and leaves off the turn. Back in second place is the youngster, Jeff Bernard, and from the boats.com, the U5. In the third position, Dr. Ken Muscatel in Superior Racing. On his inside hip, Greg Hopp in fourth and U100, MirageBoats.com, the rookie, David Bryant in fifth. Now Hopp moves into third, Muscatel in fourth, but it's all Theoret in front. Made a smoking start on the buoy row, and Billy and Jane Shoemaker's beacon plumbing. One lap complete, two more to go for Jean Theoret, putting a hammer down in the U37. Hopp light off the corner in third. Jeff Bernard in second in form of the ball, and Hopp was really light in third. Hop was really light in third in the MirageBoats.com. David Bryant has moved up to fourth in the Ahern Reynolds. Dr. McKen Muscatel has settled in fifth in Superior Racing as we have one and one half laps to go, and it's the French Canadian in front, Jean Theoret in the Miss Beacon Plumbing. Jeff Bernard had to start in lane number four, maintaining second in the Red Boat U5, FormulaBoats.com. Greg Hopp is in third in the U100 MirageBoats.com, but this rookie, David Bryant, is making up ground in the Miss Ahern Reynolds in the fourth slot. White flag is displayed. That indicates one more left to go. John Theoret accepts it in front in the Miss Beacon Plumbing. Has about a one-half straightaway lead over Jeff Bernard in the U5, FormulaBoats.com in second. Here's the battle for third. Greg Hopp has it in MirageBoats.com, but here comes this rookie on the outside. David Bryan and Ahern Reynolds in fourth. Dr. Muscatel in fifth in the Superior Racing. Year leader halfway up the back straightaway, Jean Theoret in the Beacon Plumbing. He won the season finale last year in San Diego, California, and looking to get off to a great start here in the Thunder on the Ohio at the apex of turn number two. Jeff Bernard still in third, Greg Hopp in fourth. Final turn, final lap. Fans along the shoreline in Evansville stand up. The checkered flag is waving. Here's your winner of Heat 1A, the French Canadian John Theoret in the Beacon Plumbing. Second place, the youngster from Tacoma, Washington, Jeff Bernard and Ted Porter's FormulaBoats.com. Second place for Jeff Bernard. Coming down to get third, had a wild boat ride, but Snohomish, Washington's Greg Hobb gets third in MirageBoats.com. What a run for the rookie. David Bryant in fourth in Ahern Rentals. He'll get fourth, and Dr. Ken Muscatel has went dead in the water just outside turn number one's entrance pin in the U25 Superior Racing. The start was good. The French-Canadian John Theoret in the throwback Bardall colors of the late 60s wins the first heat of the season in the Beacon Plumbing. Jeff Bernard second, third to Greg Hopp, fourth to David Bryant, and it looks like an unfortunate did not finish to Dr. Ken Muscatel. Mark Allen, Jean Theoret, I thought everybody was early for the start. 
You never count out the French Canadian. He nailed one here at the first heat of the year. Well, it's a great way to start the year. A win and a very, very good start for Jean Theoret. Ran his own race, had that start nailed and led from wire to wire. Really was never challenged. Once he got out in front, he has the inside lane and away he goes. Time to go boat racing. And we've got boats on the race course right now. To count up the rooster tails. We've got one, two, three, four, five. As they start to score up and head up the backstretch for the play-by-play -play of Heat 1B, here's Jeff Ayler just before the one-minute gun. Thank you, Mark Allen. We're now three, two, one, Mark. One-minute period has begun for Unlimited 1B. One-minute period has begun. Dave Vilwak, your top qualifier, secures lane number one in the Elstrom family's Miss Elam as they work up into turn number two. Lane number two, it looks to be J. Michael Kelly in that green and yellow, Spirit of Detroit. Lane number three, let's go Steve David, oh boy, Alberto. Lane number four, looks like Mike Allen will have to go the four slot in the form of the boats.com. Jimmy King, Evansville's favorite here this weekend, will go to the outside in the piston powered master tire. 22 seconds until the start. Vilwak got lane one. J. Michael Kelly in two, Steve David in three, Allen in four, and here comes this piston boat on the outside. We're 10 seconds away. This should be a dynamite start. We are now five, four, three, two, one, five. Jimmy King leads the field in turn number one, but we'll look toward the inside. Vilwak there in lane one gets there first. Vilwak takes the lead. Missy Lamb, your leader with Dave Vilwak. Jimmy King had a dynamite start on the outside. There's a boat in his rooster tail, and that is the master tie, I believe. Vilwak, your leader. I'm going to call Master Tire in second. And what a battle for third between formerthemotes.com and Mike Allen. Steve David, fourth, and old boy Alberto. It's tough and tenacious in turn number two. Bill Walk leads it over the boy row. David had to slow in fourth. We'll come down to complete lap number one. Bill Walk showing the short way around. Here comes Allen and Mike Allen losing track of the race car. One lap complete. Bill Walk, your leader in front of the Elam. Back in second, the master tire. Mike Allen lost the race course in third and former the boats.com. Could be a penalty there. Steve David has moved to third and U6 old boy Alberto. Mike Allen has dropped back to fourth. J. Michael Kelly. Trails it here in the spirit of Detroit. First place, Dave Vilwak, Miss Elam. Second place, Evansville's master tire, Jimmy King. Steve David, third and old boy Alberto, but Mike Allen running fourth. Mike get a one lap penalty for a lane infraction. Coming down to complete lap number one. J. Michael Kelly, still your trailer. Dave Vilwak swings it off the buoys a little bit in the Elstrom family's Miss Elam. The white flag is displayed and indicates one more lap to go. Vilwak accepts it. Two miles to go to victory in the Elam. Jimmy King with that Hydro Tex 101 start, second in the Master Tire. Here's a duck to duck battle for third. Mike Allen on the inside, the Raging Cajun. The Floridian on the outside, Steve David in fourth. They battle for third on their final lap. J. Michael Kelly in fifth in the spirit of Detroit. Vilwak. About a quarter straight away in front, one half a lap to go to victory. King remains in third. And now Mike Allen is pulled out more securely in third in formerlyboats.com with Steve David in fourth. Kelly trails it. Final turn, final lap. Unlimited 1B. It's been a thriller. Here comes your defending champion off the corner, Dave Vilwak. Off the exit pin, a thousand feet to victory. Here's your winner of Unlimited 1B, Dave Vilwak and the Elstrom family's Miss Elam. Second place, the Ken Pepper Jagger's master tire with Jimmy King. Mark it down in pencil, Mike Allen, unofficially third in U1, formerthevotes.com. Fourth place, Steve David, U6, old boy Alberto. And coming down to get fifth will be J. Michael Kelly and Dave Bartish's U13, Spirit of Detroit. Lots of wild action in the first lap, and Mark Allen, write it down in pencil. Mike Allen finished physically in third. Could be some penalty success. One prior to the start, 
One coming down to complete lap number one. Looked like he lost the course off the exit pin of turn two. Well, he did, and that's that buoy that has been spooking everybody as they walked around the course, and uh, it's now floating over toward the, the shore here. So we'll have to see that it is, of course, not an official marker once it's been dislodged. We do want to say, Jeff, J. Michael Kelly started in lane number two. He got washed down. He would not be able to hold that, and uh, he got washed down in that turn, and that's why he fell back all the way to fourth place before he could get the boat up and running one more time. Great point, Mark, because I'm not able to see the flags here. There were some boats that ran an extra lap, maybe some precautionaries, but write it down in pencil. Dave Villwalk, unofficially your winner in the Elstrom family's Miss Elam. Second place, unofficially, Jimmy King and the Master Tire. Third place, unofficially, Mike Allen, former the boats.com, the U1. Fourth place, unofficially, would go to Steve David, old boy Alberto, and J. Michael Kelly, fourth, or fifth, excuse me, in the Spirit of Detroit. Mark, the only boat that did not run an extra lap was the Master Tire. I'm going to try and get a better view to see if we can see better vision of the flags tomorrow. in 37, six seconds now until the start of the heat. And they're starting to score up on the backstretch. Jeff Bernard starts to put a little speed to it, but it looks like Steve David is going to have the inside lane. We are at a minute 26, 25. Jeff Ayler, they're starting to score up on the backstretch and for the play-by-play -play of Heat 2A, my partner, Jeff Ayler. Thank you very much, Mark Allen. A remarkable move by Steve David for our fans along the shoreline. That's what we talk about, the race before the race. You fight for your lane. Steve David steals lane number one. We are now five, four, three, two, one. Mark, one minute period has begun for Unlimited 2A and Steve David. 20-year veteran, the unlimited class, hydroplane driving 101, lane number one, U6, old boy Alberto. Jeff Bernard, the youngster from Tacoma, Washington. Lane number two in Ted Porter's, former the boats.com. Bill Walk with the heat win yesterday in the fluorescent orange. Elam will go to lane three. J. Michael Kelly will go to the outside in the spirit of Detroit. An unfortunate did not start. We'll go to Ken Muscatel, the U25, still on the trailer, the superior racing. Everybody just a touch early. For 25 seconds until the start. Steve David, lane one, old boy Alberto, but he's early on the clock. Could the others come from behind and get him with a flying start? We'll see how it pans out. 15 seconds away. Steve David in one. Bernard picks the pace up in two. Bill Walk in three. Kelly in four. Here they come to the start finish line. Put yourself in the cockpit, cousin Ginger. We're four, three, two, one. Mark on oh, a blue. We got some good jumpers. We'll call him physically in turn number one. It appeared that the Elam and the Spirit of Detroit could have been over. We'll call him physically in turn number one. Your leader, Jeff Bernard, in formerlyboats.com, the U5. Jeff Bernard leads it off the corner. Steve David right now tucked in third in the old boy Alberto. Vilwalk's actually in second, hidden in the rooster tail. J. Michael Kelly in fourth. We will call it physically on the track. We appear to have two gun jumpers. Jeff Bernardo appeared to be legal to me. Leads at U5, FormulaBoats.com. Bill Watts sitting in the rooster tail. Steve David on the inside and old boy Alberto. will come down to complete lap number one of three. And the youngster from Tacoma, Washington leads it. Jeff Bernard and FormulaBoats.com, the U5. One of the books are two to go. Bill Watts and David side by side in second. Bill Watts line in third on the outside. J. Michael Kelly trails it. And the U13, Spirit of Detroit. Still waiting word from the ABRA officials on possible gun jumpers. We'll call it physically off the corner. It's a Donnie Brook off the turn. And the youngster now, Bill Walks pulled up side by side with Bernard. Bernard, a half a boat length advantage. Bill Walk on his outside in second. David charging in third in the U6 old boy Alberto. J. Michael Kelly trails it in Spirit of Detroit. Into turn number two. It's the youngster, Sean, with a short way around out of Washington State. But there's Bill Walk on his hip. And they're going to come off deck to deck. They'll come down to get the white flag. And we did have some gun jumpers, and Bernard was a gun jumper. The great U5 running in front has been issued a one lap penalty for jumping the gun. Your actual leader is the U16, Miss Elam, the fluorescent orange boat with Dave Billwalk. Tough break for Jeff Bernard. The boat running physically in front has been issued a one lap penalty. Your orange boat is the leader. Dave Billwalk and the Miss Elam. 
Steve David has moved up to second and old boy Alberto. J. Michael Kelly was issued a one lap penalty for a gun jump in the spirit of Detroit. This battle up in front is Bernard, but it's an and Bernard is all over. Jeff Bernard is brought over the U5 over the bus.com. Oh my, Jeff Bernard. We just got word that he had had a gun jump penalty and he is blown over and U5, FormulaBoats.com. The red flares have been shot. The boat is upside down. Jeff Bernard was putting on a whale of a show up front. U5, FormulaBoats.com. Hit a roller, it appeared, Mark Allen, and he looked like he got into the wash of the tail of the Elam as that boat has landed upside down. Mark, you have the glasses on the U5 form of the boats.com. Do you see any activity coming out of the cockpit on the underside? Well, not yet. The red flags are up, and the rescue boat is heading there. It'll be there in about five seconds, and uh, Jeff Bernard did hit a roller. He launched. The boat got up a little bit and into the rooster tail, and as we said yesterday, those boats don't know the difference between the lake and, or the river and the rooster tail, and he flew right up and over. The safety and rescue personnel crews are on the scene at the accident scene of the U5, formoftheboats.com. Jeff Bernard and Mark, you had given me the note that the U5, which the boat Jeff Bernard is driving, and J. Michael Kelly and the U13 were gun jumpers because of jumping the gun at the start. Safety and rescue personnel is there. Mark Allen has the binoculars on the accident scene. Mark, any activity out of the boat yet? Rescue boats are just arriving there now. They're going to obscure our view as they get their work done. The divers have gone into the water, and we will uh, wait to see getting Jeff Bernard out of that boat. Remind the folks along the shoreline that these drivers are all on compressed air. They've got plenty of compressed air to be underwater. The cockpits are not watertight. so. That is a requirement when you're in an enclosed cockpit. Doesn't matter whether you're in a limited or a smaller inboard class boat, you've got to be certified. And that they go through the dunk test, they turn them upside down every year, and you've got to be recertified. So these guys know exactly how to how to stay uh, in good shape. And for our fans along the shoreline, these boats are equipped with a escape hatch on the bottom of that capsule. The boat has landed upside down, and right now our concerns are for the youngster Jeff Bernard from Tacoma, Washington and Ted Porter's U5, formoftheboats.com. It's a minute and 20 seconds, and here comes Greg Hopp from the front stretch to the back stretch. Jean Theoret thinks he has lane one. Mike Allen thinks he has lane two, but Greg Hopp comes out on the back stretch in front of him. We'll give you the count for the last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, we're at the one minute gun. Jeff Ayler, they're starting to score up on the backstretch show now for the play-by-play -play of Heat 2B, my buddy Jeff Ayler. Thank you very much, Mark Allen. Textbook driving by Greg Hopp in the U100, MirageBoats.com. He steals lane number one. Greg Hopp in the one slot. John Theoret from Quebec. He'll go to lane number two and Billy and Jane Shoemaker's Beacon Plumbing. 38 seconds until the start. The raging Cajun Mike Allen from New Orleans, Louisiana. Lane number three in the red, U1, FormerTheBoats.com. Jimmy King, Evansville's hometown favorite this weekend. Ed Cooper Jr.'s boat will go to the four slot. King's picking that tail up. He done this yesterday. Watch for this, Allison, on the outside. David Bryant will go to lane five, and King's already putting the chili to it for 15 seconds until the start. Hop in one, Theoret in two, Allen in three, and here comes this, Allison, on the outside. We are now five, four, three, two, one, march. Great start for racing up by the 2B. Greg Hop leads him across the line at MirageBoats.com. Jimmy King in second and master tire. Mike Allen in third and former the boats.com. And Theoret, the heat winner yesterday, is caught into some rooster tails as they work into turn number one. Greg Hop, your leader, but here's the piston boot on the outside. Jimmy King leads in the master tire. Ed Cooper Jr.'s boat from Posey County, Indiana, has taken the lead in Heat 2B. Second place, Greg Hop, MirageBoats.com. Back in third, we got a battle with Mike Allen and John Theoret side by side. Working into turn number two. Oh, and now Mike Allen dead in the water, and now we got three of them coming off side by side by side. Mike Allen dead in the water on the back chute. We'll come down to complete lap number one. Here comes Theoret, powering up 
short way around. Jimmy King has dropped back to second. They're passing Mike Allen dead in the water in FormulaBoats.com. Greg Hopp in third. David Bryan in fourth. And what a wild and woolly one we've had here in Unlimited 2B. Theoret got light on the turn, settles the boat back down. We'll come down to get the white flag. Theoret won 1A yesterday. The boat behind him was the one running in south. Theoret was real light off the corner. White flag is displayed. Two in the books and one more to go for the French Canadian, John Theoret. Second place, Jimmy King and the Master Tire. Third to Greg Hopp and U100 from RSBoats.com. Fourth to David Bryan and a wild boat ride for the rookie back and forth. And Jimmy David Gregory's USA Racing Partners. Mike Allen, the Red Boat, your defending unlimited hydroplane boat champion, dead in the water on the back straightaway. John Theoret. One half a lap to go in his third season of unlimited hydroplane racing. Leads Jimmy King in second, Greg Hopp in third, but David Bryant though starting the Oh, and Theoretis went over! Theoretis went over! Led. He's keeping the boat running! Theoretis blown over! The boat is still running! Oh my! The piston boat is taking the lead! The piston boat is taking the lead! Here's your winner of the unmiraculous Wild Unlimited 2B, Jimmy King and the Master Tire! Oh my, oh my, Greg Hobb will get second in the U100 MirageBoats.com. Third place will go to David Bryant. Third place will go to David Bryant in the U10A Hearn Reynolds. Mark Allen, could this be the first ever, could this be the first ever boat to do a 360 and restart and finish. It looks like the cockpit is up. His cockpit is up. The uh, officials actually ordered him to stop. He may well have been able to finish the lap and finish the heat, but the officials ordered him to stop, Jeff. Mark Allen, we knew coming into the 2007 Unlimited season, it was going to be exciting. Thea Red kept the boat running. You could hear the crowd on that end. Lane number one, as he gets from the front stretch to the back stretch, a minute and 20 seconds. Jeff Ayler, we've got boats that are getting started to score up, and Jimmy King last time got a full head of speed by the time he was halfway up the back stretch. So let's throw it to our broadcasting partner for the play-by-play. -play. Here's Jeff Ayler. Thank you, Mark Allen. We're three, two, one. Mark, one minute period has begun for unlimited 3A. One minute period has begun. Steve David leads him up into turn number two in the silver, red, and green. Oh, boy, Alberto. Boat needs to score, needs to score well. That boat in the middle, formerthevotes.com with Mike Allen, last year's champion boat in the ABRA Unlimited Hydroplane Series. They're in a must-win situation. They need a win, and they need some luck to transfer to the final without going to the consolation. And the boat on the outside, Evansville's favorite, Jimmy King and the Master Tire. Look for Jimmy just to stay outside, stay clean, score points, put it on the trailer, get ready for the final. 18 seconds until the start. Steve David, lane one. Michael Allen, lane two. Jimmy King in lane three. It's the Alberto in one. FormulaBoats.com, you won in lane two. And here comes this Allison again on the outside. We're four, three, two, one. Mark, the piston leads him into turn number one, but let's turn our attention to the inside. There's the U6, oh boy, Alberto with Steve David. We got three of them, and there's my, oh, there's the piston. The piston leads off the corner. Jimmy King and the old boy, Alberto, deck to deck. The piston does not have to run this hard, but why not? They're running like a Swiss wristwatch. King leads it into the corner. Alberto, both link back in second. Mike Allen, third, and U1, formulaboats.com. Deck to deck racing with Hoosier boats in the corner. Matter of fact, it's all three Hoosier boats in this one. They're side by side by side off the corner. We'll come down to complete lap number one. It's Madison, Indiana's all the way around on Christmas Eve, David. One complete three to go. Jimmy King is second in the Master. 
Tiger Tire. Mike Allen in third, the Raging Cajun in FormulaBoats.com. It's a three boat heat, but it's a dandy so far as we work lap number two. Steve David in this brand new piece. Show them the short way around off the corner. They got the shark teeth on the cockpit and Jaws is chopping up the water in front. And now we got a side by side battle for second. Now King pulls back out in front in second position by two bolt legs, Mike Allen in third. In turn number two. And we got it. Mike Allen has went over. Oh my. Mike Allen got in the rooster tail. And the form of the boats.com has went over. Red flares have been shot. Red flares have been shot. I was watching Alberta. This heat has been stopped. Steve David has not acknowledged the red flares yet. Jimmy King has seen them. It was tough, tenacious racing going into turn number two. And for the third time today, three accidents in turn number two on this Ohio River race course. Mike Allen, Mark Allen is the canopy up. Canopy is up, he is right side up. He landed right side up, Jeff, and the canopy is open at this time. The tail feathers are gone. The cowling on the engine is still there, but Mike Allen has opened the canopy as the rescue boats steam toward him at the top of turn number two. He got loose, got into Jimmy King's rooster tail and just rode that thing up sideways. Whether he went all the way over in a barrel roll was hard to tell, but you could see the whole top side of the boat absolutely vertical in the air as he went through Jimmy King's rooster tail and landed right side up. And the rescue boats now arrive at the U1 on the Ohio 29th Annual Edition, presented by AT&T, Yellow Pages, and yellowpages.com. Remember, when the hydros come out, all the swimmers must be out of the water. A little bit of a traffic jam coming here. Let's see if Jean Theoret can sneak inside of Dave Vilwak. He may have to go outside. Dave Vilwak is going to have to go out into lane number two as they approach the halfway point in the backstretch for the play-by-play. -play. Let's turn it over to our partner, Jeff Ayler. Thank you, Mark Allen. We are now exactly five. Four, three, two, one, mark. One minute period has begun for unlimited 3B. John Theoret, nice job to get lane one and beacon plumbing. I am absolutely shocked and amazed to see Dave Vilwak in lane two in the Miss Elam. He has 800 points. All he has to do is just finish to transfer to the final. Surprised to see the orange boat in lane two. Could that be the drama here of this heat 3B? Lane number three. Greg Hopp, U100, MirageBoats.com, the blue boat. The green and yellow craft is J. Michael Kelly in lane four in Spirit of Detroit. And the rookie, David Bryant, will go to the outside in Ahern Reynolds. 25 seconds until the start. Three are at and one. Bill Walk in two. Hopp in three. Kelly in four. Bryant to the outside. The pace starts to pick up. Unlimited heat 3B. We've had three blowers on today. Let's see if we can get through this one clean. Eight seconds until the start. They charge the line as we're five, four, three, two, one. Mark, clean start. We're racing on London 3B. Dave Billwalk leads them across the line to Miss E. Lamb in lane two. J. Michael Kelly went dead in the water in turn number two. In the spirit of Detroit, he's well back at the start. In turn number one, and the big orange is in front. Dave Billwalk in the Miss E. Lamb. Did not need to be in lane two, but boy, he's showing them the short way around. Opens up an eight boat length advantage over Jean Theoret in the Beacon Plumbing. Third place, Greg Hopp, MirageBoats.com. Fourth to David Bryan of Ahern Reynolds. Fifth to J. Michael Kelly in the Spirit of Detroit. Vilwak putting it to the wood here and didn't necessarily need to in the Elam. Leads it in turn number two. Off the exit pin, Jean Theoret. Will second place be enough? Will 700 points be enough to transfer to the final? One of the books and two to go. Bill Walk leads it. He's opening up now two rooster tails over Jean Theoret in the Beacon Plumbing. Beacon Plumbing has a two rooster tail advantage over third place Greg Hopp in MirageBoats.com. Hopp has that same advantage over the fourth place boat Ahern Rentals with David Bryant. It looked like Theoret in second slowed some, and now Greg Hopp is starting to creep into the end of that rooster tail in the third position in MirageBoats.com. J. Michael Kelly completes his first lap in fifth in the U13 Spirit of Detroit. But it's been all day. Bill Walk, 
your defending Evansville champion, the Miss Elam, at the apex of turn number two. Swings it way outside, tiptoes it across this Ohio River race course, makes his way to the start finish line, Bowie. White flowing, Bill, I got a little light there. White flag is displayed. Two down and one to go in front. John Theoret, will this be enough? Can 700 transfer him? We'll find out after we tabulate the points. Beacon Plumbing in second, and he starts to slow. Theoret hits some rough water in second. Greg Hopp in third in barrageboats.com. Four still, David Bryant, Ahern Rentals. J. Michael Kelly will come down to complete his second lap in fifth in the Spirit of Detroit. One half a lap to go for your leader. Dave Vilwalk in the Elam. Three heats today. This is where all the excitement has begun in this turn around this portion of the race. Vilwalk gingerly working through turn number two, looking to put another 400 points in the pocket. Evansville, he's swinging it to the shoreline. Vilwalk, your defending champion. Checkered flag is waving. Here's your winner of unlimited 3B, Dave Vilwalk from Auburn, Washington in the Elstrom family's Miss Elam. Jean Theoret, the French Canadian from Quebec, second place points in the second spot in Billy and Jane Shoemaker's Beacon Plumbing out of Seattle. Greg Hoff in that third place. Looks like he's secured a spot in the final. And Fred Leland's MirageBoats.com. David Bryan in fourth in the purple and yellow Ahern Rentals. And in fifth, J. Michael Kelly and Dave Bardish's Spirit of Detroit. Now it's time to go boat racing. We're less than five minutes away from the start of the provisional heat of Thunder on the Ohio for that. We are now one minute and 10 seconds from the start. Jeff Bernard in the red U5, J. Michael Kelly in the green and yellow U13. We're four, three, two, one, mark. One, one minute period has begun for the provisional. This is a three lapper, three times around this two mile race course here in Evansville. And Jeff Bernard has went dead in the water on the back straightaway, but he was running at the one minute gun. He is eligible to refire. And Jeff, you know, they do have to stay on plane during that one minute period. He got down so slow that this, the engine spooled all the way down to ground zero. He'll get the boat started back up again, and we'll see what happens after that. 30 seconds until the start. Jeff Bernard trying to relight the fire, trying to get a dial tone to the engine, and he does. There's 25 seconds until the start. He's just going to have to mash the gas and try to catch his friend, J. Michael Kelly. 16 seconds until the start. The one advantage Jeff will have, he'll come across at full song. J. Michael, though, is going to have an advantage here ahead of him. It's going to be a three-lapper. It's going to be an erratic start. We're five, four, three, two, one. Mark, clean start. We're racing in the provisional. J. Michael Kelly leads him across the start finish line, Bowie, in the U13 Spirit of Detroit. Jeff Bernard just makes his start in the U5, formulaboats.com. And right now, Mark Allen, J. Michael Kelly, your leader. It's a Herculean effort by the formerthaboats.com team. There was a difference of about 12 miles per hour in qualifying time, but right now, the five just hoping to catch a break after going dead in the water on the back chute, but give them an A-plus for effort to get into provisional. Just a miraculous effort to get him out on the water at all right now, Jeff. In turn number two, that is J. Michael Kelly and Dave Bartish's spirit of Detroit trying to gain the final position in the championship. He'll come down to complete lap number one, swings it way outside to get the smooth water. One in the books and two to go for J. Michael Kelly out in front. A little hop and a skip past the start finish line in that fluorescent green and yellow U13. Here's the youngster that had the blow over in heat 2A, Jeff Bernard in the form of the boats.com. Swings it off the corner and he's starting to slow. And I believe Jeff Bernard, it's just been such a tough day after they went dead in the water, there's just no need to push the equipment. And Jeff Bernard will bring the U5 back in the pits. And folks, let's do it again. Let's give a round of applause to this team. U5, what an effort. They're not going to transfer, but they'll be back in action next weekend in Madison, Indiana. And with that did not finish for the U5, J. Michael Kelly will come through turn number two. And I believe they will go ahead and issue the checkered. And we'll see here as he comes off the corner but they still have the white flag in hand. 
at the start finish line, Bowie. So J. Michael Kelly will accept that white with one more to go here in the provisional. So all he has to do is just keep it together, hang on, and he'll be your trailer boat for the final heat here at the Thunder on the Ohio. And now the checkered flag is in hand. So J. Michael working through turn number one and just has to keep everything together, as I mentioned, to advance to that trailer position in the final. Once again, only one trailer boat has ever won an unlimited hydroplane final heat. It happened in 1993. San Diego, California was the site. Mike Hansen done the trick in Madison, Indiana's Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. It has been done. It's tough to do, but it's been done once, and it was almost done two years ago in Nashville, Tennessee. Jimmy King and the Master Tire almost pulled the trick, but went dead in the water 1,000 feet at the finish. Checkered flag is waving. Here's your winner of the unlimited provisional, J. Michael Kelly and Dave Bartish is U13. Jeff Bernard just finishing his second lap. Uh, Jeff Ayler as he floats across the finish line. And J. Michael Kelly has been told he can cut through the course, come right back to the dock. They will have to get that boat up on the trailer and get it refueled. And the final heat scheduled for 435, the winner take all championship heat, Thunder on the Ohio 2007, coming up at 435 this afternoon. Thank you, Mark Allen. Four minutes and 50 seconds until the start for the championship heat of the 29th annual Thunder on the Ohio, presented this year by AT&T Yellow Pages and yellowpages.com. Mark Allen, DW, says boogity, boogity, boogie, but let's rock on. That's right, Jeff Ayler, it's time to go port racing the final winner-take-all championship heat on the Ohio River Thunder on the Ohio 2007. And we are less than five minutes right now, getting down to four minutes before the start of the final heat of Thunder on the Ohio, presented by AT&T Yellow Pages and yellowpages.com. Race fans, remember that when the boats are on the water, you've got to be out of the water, so get back up on the beach, get a good seat and watch the final heat of Thunder on the Ohio 2007. Here's who is in our championship heat. It'll be the Miss Elam Plus with Dave Billwalk. It'll be the Master Tire with Jimmy King, the old boy Alberto driven by Steve David, MirageBoats.com driven by Greg Hopp, the Miss Beacon Plumbing driven by Jean Theoret. Could he be the third ever flip and win boat in unlimited hydroplane history? Ahern Reynolds, the U10, driven, driven by David Bryant, and the Spirit of Detroit, J. Michael Kelly, will be the trailer boat. We are now just a little outside, three minutes away from the championship heat of Thunder on the Ohio 2007. Remember, for the safety of you and everybody around you, you've got to be out of the water when the hydros are on the Thunder race course, so get back up on the beach, get a great seat, and watch the fastest race boats in the world by for the championship of Thunder on the Ohio. Three boats in the upper end of the turn. Jean Theoret already has slowed it down in lane number one, but he's got a lot of sloppy water up there, as you can see, bouncing through those wakes. Coming off the turn, J. Michael Kelly leading Jimmy King in the master tire down, and Steve David is coming through the infield. Dave Vilwak just approaching the entrance to turn two. Greg Hopp in the MirageBoats.com about halfway up the backstretch. So boats are spread out all over our Thunder race course as we get down inside two minutes and 30 seconds. We've seen John Theoret do this in every heat that he's competed in so far this weekend. Park it in lane number one, go slowly around, see if he's gonna out strategize, maybe out fox somebody else take them down a little ways toward that turn until they can't go any farther and got to go all the way around and then cut in and head for the back stretch and take lane number one. We'll see what that strategy is. Dave Vilwak in the Elstrom Manufacturing just on the outside of Jean Theoret. 
Still votes all over the race course, about a minute and 53 seconds. Steve David in the old boy, Oberto, now going very slowly in lane number one. Everybody wants lane number one, and here goes Greg Hopp. He's going to cut through the infield. Let's see if he can make it across. He's not going to be able to make it across before Steve David comes up the backstretch and takes that number one lane position. We may have a little bit of a traffic jam as Dave Vilwak and Jean Theoret come through, and just about at the exit pin of that turn number one, a minute and a half left to go. Greg Hopp goes to the outside, and Stephen David still in lane number one. Everybody's starting to form up, and for the play-by-play -play of our championship heat of thunder on the Ohio 2007, let's throw it to our colleague, Jeff Ayler. Thank you, Mark Allen. Greg Hopp tried to get lane one. Steve David, Madison, Indiana's old boy, Alberto, lane one. We are now five, four, three, two, one. Mark, one-minute period has begun for the championship heat of the 29th annual Thunder on the Ohio. Steve David, lane one, Greg Hopp, lane number two in the blue boat, U100MirageBoats.com, John Theoret, lane three, Beacon Plumbing, Dave Billwalk, lane four, Miss Elam. David Bryant will go to the outside and look where this Allison is. Folks, look where this Allison is. 33 seconds until the start. This Allison, watch out, he's going to be charging through here in about lane number five for 25 seconds until the start. And the Allison's picking up the pace in the back. This could be a smoking start on the outside for Jimmy King. We're 15 seconds away. Here comes this Allison on the outside. 10 seconds until the start. Evansville, put yourself in the cockpit. We're five, four, three, two, one. Steve David leads him in the turn in lane one in U6, old boy Alberto. Jimmy King was there, but going to lose real. Andy Alberto was your leader. Madison, Indiana's old boy Alberto is your leader with Steve David. Here's Phil Walk on the outside. It's the Arrette coming up in the middle. We got a deck to deck to deck battle up the back straight away. Phil Walk leads it in the Elam. The Arrette back three boat links in second. David third in the Alberto. Back and forth is Jimmy King in the master tire. Fifth to Greg Hopp, but your actions and turn to it, the apex, and hang on to it, guys. Here they come to complete lap number one. Bill Walk, a wild boat right on the outside. They're side by side by side. Will come down to complete lap number one. And Bill Walk's got it, but two boat legs over the Aram with four to go. David in third in the Alberto. Jimmy King in fourth. Greg Hopp in fifth. David Bryan in six, J. Michael Kelly in seven, back into turn number one. Dave Bill Walk is in front, but the French Canadian has not given up on the inside. Bill Walk walks it off the corner, gains a little bit better boat stability off the corner. Bill Walk five bolt length advantage, does not have the bolt legs to cut over yet on Theoret in second. Steve David in third, Jimmy King in fourth in the master tire. Bill Walk, your leader. Theoretto trying to cut into that deficit on the bully row. Oh, and Steve David in third hit some rough water, slowed down the piston boat. Looks like it. Theoret slowing in second, but he's picked it back up. Two in the books, three to go. Bill Walk flies across the line in front. John Theoret has dropped back 15 boat links in second. Now we're going to have a battle for third. U6 old boy Alberto in third. Here comes the piston boat on the outside. Fifth place, Greg Hopp, U100 BarageBoats.com. Sixth to David Bryan in the eight, Herb Reynolds. Seventh, J. Michael Kelly in the spirit of Detroit. Now Bill Walks open it up about one half straight away. We lead, we got a position change for third. Evansville's master tire has moved into third. The old boy Alberto has dropped back to fourth. Alberto had led early on, now runs in the fourth don't, position. Don't don't worry about Bill Walk, side. your leader at the Stay apex up. of turn number two. Swinging it way outside, trying to find smoother water here on the Thunder on the Ohio race course. We'll come down to complete lap number three. The shouting is not done yet. Three in the books and two to go, and Bill Walk slams it from side to side here on the front chute. John Theoret in second. Three down, two to go on the Beacon Plumbing. Third place to Jimmy King in the master tire. Fourth to Steve David, old boy Alberto. Greg Hopp almost blew over in fifth in the BarageBoats.com. Six to David Bryant in the Ahern Reynolds. And seventh to J. Michael Kelly in the Spirit of Detroit. One and one half laps to go in the championship. Peter the Thunder on the Ohio. Dave Vilwak leads it. 
by about one half a straightaway over Sean Thier at the Beacon Plumbing. Evansville's master tire has moved into third with Jimmy King. Steve David in fourth, and now we got a battle for fifth as David Bryant trying to move up to fifth to overtake Greg Hopp. Bill Lock off the corner. White flag is displayed. Two more miles to go to victory for Dave Billwalk to get his 10th win in Evansville. He has it by one half straight away over Jean Theoret in the Beacon Plumbing. Beacon Plumbing, though, work is not done yet as Jimmy King is third the last entire. And the old boy, Alberto. We have lost the Alberto. No, there's the Alberto in fourth. Greg Hopp now moves into fourth. Alberto falls to fifth with Steve David. David Bryant in sixth. J. Michael Kelly in seventh. We got a battle for the fourth place position with three votes here on the final lap. Milwaukee comfortably in front, but Evansville, your boat is in the rooster tail now. In second place, Sean Theoret. Everybody working their final lap. Milwaukee, right. final turn, final lap, swings it well to shore. A thousand feet to victory and a winner for 10 times in Evansville. Your winner of the Thunder on the Ohio Day, Milwaukee and the Elster families with the lap. Here's a battle for second. Theoret by two boat legs. Here comes King on the outside. John Theoret in second by two boat legs over Jimmy King in the master tire. The Alberta was fell to last. Greg Hop off the corner in fourth in the U100 MirageBoats.com. Greg Hop will get fourth in the U100. Fifth to the rookie, David Bryant in Ahern Rentals. J. Michael Kelly in sixth in the spirit of Detroit. And Steve David, old boy Alberto, led early on, crawls across the line in seventh in Madison, Indiana's old boy Alberto. Unofficially, first place, Dave Billwalk. Second place, Sean Theoret. Third place, Jimmy King. Fourth place, Greg Hopp. Fifth place, David Bryant. Sixth place, J. Michael Kelly. And in seventh, Steve David. Mark Allen, wow. We've been telling people all weekend long that the competition was going to be incredible. I don't think anybody proved us wrong. Otherwise, we have had some great racing. First place, second place, some dead heats as these boats went around. And five, six, seven boats right here this afternoon in the final heat. Give Dave Vilwalk a wave as he comes by the riverfront. He's going slow. He's got his hatch up. He's going to be waving at you. Give him a round of applause. Give him a big, big cheer. Right behind him comes Jimmy King at Evansville's own U3 Master Tire. Dave Vilwalk showed the way around. He didn't lead from wire to wire, though, Jeff. The Alberto was the first one across the line. But then, from our vantage point, it was just all rooster tails. Oh, Vilwalk had to fight for this one. Number 10 in Evansville. He's won over one third of these events. And uh, the divers go out to greet. Bill Walk in the Elstrom boat, and Mark Allen will be going down. I'll keep an eye on Mark, but Dave Bill Walk's your winner in the Elam. Second place, John Theoret. What a remarkable turn of events for that team out of Seattle. Flew over earlier today, finishing second. And third went to Evansville's Jimmy King and the Master Tire. Folks in Evansville, I thought that Allison had a shot. And you got to give Ed Cooper Jr and Jimmy King credit. And let's give the Evansville team a round of applause. Jimmy King and Ed Cooper Jr. third place in a master tire. These guys ran every heat out there. Congratulations to the U3 Master Tire. <laughs> now get your picture taken, guys. The, the paparazzi are out here just waiting for you. Okay, we'll, we'll start with the owner, Ed. Well, I want to thank all the fans. I want to thank Master Tire, all you local people, your race teams that your tires went out coming here. Go over to Master Tire and get some new tires. Tom Sawyer put on a heck of a race. Jeff and Mark, the PA announcers, following in some big shoes, did a heck of a job. We had a really great weekend. How about the weather in Evansville? I don't want to hear any more Seattle complaints. Forget it. It was great. <laughs> It's kind of hard to 
top to boss, but I just want to congratulate the Elam guys. It was a great weekend for everybody. It was exciting for the crowd. Everybody's in one piece, and we'll do it again next weekend. Thank you. U3 Master Tire, third place, 2007, Thunder on the Ohio. Special day for this driver. It is Canada Day, national holiday, and second place goes to Shoemaker Racing, the Miss Beacon Plumbing, and driver Jean Theorette. Yeah! Hey, man, you a cop! Right there, in the soldier. All right, Billy, let's start with the, the big guy here. I never thought I'd be happy with a second place, but today I am real happy with a second place. Uh, I wanna, I'm so proud of our crew for getting that boat back together and making it in a final. Uh, extremely proud of our driver, Jean Theoret. To me, he's the absolute best. I love him. First of all, I want to thank Doc because you know after crashing here and to be up here in this podium and finishing second, it's a tribute to him and, and to this team who worked so hard and to Beacon Plumbing, who's our major sponsor, and to Billy and Jane you know, for giving me the opportunity to drive again this year. And uh, I know it's a real blessing that with all these crashes we had today, nobody got hurt. So praise, yeah. praise the Lord. Thanks for everything. Second place for the U37 Miss Beacon Plumbing Racing Team, uh, Shoemaker Racing. First place, no stranger to crossing the finish line first here on the Thunder Race Course at Evansville. The Elstrom Manufacturing U16 Unlimited Hydroplane Racing Team, Eric Elstrom and the Elstrom family, and driver Dave Villwalk. He's, uh, he's coming around the corner back here, Dave. Congratulations. First win out of the box for 2007. We were here. It just seems like yesterday. Yeah, that's a great start. Uh, boy, you know, we've had uh, some great success here. And the guys behind me are really the guys that are making it happen. And more than anyone else, any one person, I want to bring Jeff Miner up. <laughs> Jeff Miner. <laughs> Trust me, Jeff Miner is a working machine. You know, he, Eric and I and the rest of the crew, a lot of the guys on the crew, you know, they all have different jobs and do different things. And, and uh, Jeff is the guy that day in and day out gets her done. He's a get her done guy. And, and uh, you know, he almost single-handedly really did most of the boat this year. Everybody else did their part. Of course, the motors were awesome and, and all the rest of the stuff that worked that people came in to do. But uh, just the man, just the man, the great guys. and, and uh, you know, I couldn't appreciate it more. They, they, they really came here and, and uh, really hit the numbers and gave me a wonderful piece to drive, and, and I'm just happy to be part of it. Thank you, Evansville, and, and thank all the other teams. Everybody did a great job. Uh, I'd like to thank Evansville. I think we have to thank Master Tire because we blew out some tires coming in. I'm pretty sure we went there to get some tires for our trailer. Thanks all the... Uh, all the officials, all the volunteers, all the other teams, it was an awesome weekend, and we can't wait to be here again here next year. Thanks. We got something for all you guys. Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer, can you come up here, please? Don't cover it up. We've got we've got the heavy trophy here. This is the perpetual trophy. So it's going to take a couple of crew guys to uh, to get this thing up because this is a 
an actual piston out of the U3 Master Tire Allison engine. It is the perpetual thunder on the Ohio Trophy. Let's get all the guys here and we'll we'll hold it up. Come on all around the front side of the table. He was going to give us a starter kit for one of those Allisons, but there's only one here. We won it a couple of times. We're wondering when do we get the rest of the parts? <laughs> you have to talk to Ed about that. Hold it up, guys, and get your picture taken. U16, the Elstrom Manufacturing, Miss Elam Plus, and Dave Elwok, the winner. Uh, one more thing, you know, I think our team did a, did a great and professional job to handling their self, but, you know, more than, than I've seen in a few years by a, by a number of race sites, Tom Sawyer and his team did a totally professional job of setting this race up, getting it ready for us, getting us in the pits, and surely getting us out of the pits. I'm sure he'll be glad to, see us leave, as, glad to see us leave as he saw us coming. So thank you, Tom. You've done a great job. And I want to say thanks to Tom as well. I had the opportunity to be race chairman in Seattle four years, and I know what goes into putting on an unlimited hydroplane event. It is not something that people do just on the spur of the moment or for with it even a month or two. And this race ran as smooth as silk until Heat 2A, and that's when the medal of the volunteers and their leadership really shows. And with all the accidents that we had, we still got the air show, we still got the race on, and it is a tribute to Tom's leadership and the volunteers of Thunder on the Ohio. I don't know what to say after that. It's really not me. It's, it's the people that work, that, that put this on every year. We've got a very experienced crew, uh, led by Donnie Olson, Matt Timmel, uh, Dave White. Uh, they've all been around for years. I mean, we've all got 20 years experience, and We've got great crane support from our, our crane owners. We've got Sterrett Construction gave us two. Industrial gave us two. John Manns gave us two. These people, are, they, they, we really appreciate their contribution, and you guys should too. We're always welcome to have you in Evansville. Glad we cooled it off for you. It just uh, Normally, this is the hottest weekend of the year, but, I, I, you know, obviously global warming is phony. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Congratulations on a good race. One last thing. I had the chance to work with Joe Root for the last five years, and we miss him very dearly. Lost him in February. He was the voice of thunder. There will never be another voice of thunder. Joe Root's voice still echoes in my ears and everybody's ears here on the Thunder Race Course. Thunder 2007 was dedicated to Joe Root, and we'll never forget Joe. Thanks, everybody. We will see you next year at Thunder 2008, the 30th Thunder on the Ohio. Yeah.